Hi everybody, it's Donna. Uh, before I get started on today's project, I thought I'd just do a cute little share with you of a project I've finished. Um, this, and I didn't show me making this because I followed almost exactly a tutorial that was over on May May Made It's uh, channel. And I'll put the link to that video in that uh, box below so you can all go back and check it out. She did a really nice tutorial, easy to follow. Um, I, we have to put something up in September here to make us think it's going to be fall. It's 92 degrees outside. But anyway, so it was down with the flip-flops and up with the scarecrow face. And I think she turned out super cute. And I'm going to go put her up and I'll be back to show you today's project. Bye-bye. Hi, it's Donna. And today we're going to do a little bit of a fall home decor project. And I'm going to be making a Kleenex box cover. I'm making it for the small size Kleenex boxes. Um, to put in on the bathroom counter. It will look kind of cute and has some fall colors to um, help us remember that even if it's 92, it is fall. So this is kind of a prototype I made. And you can see I had to rescore uh, once in order to get it to fit right and I'm just going to give you a little bit of the process up front and I will give you the sizes of the ones I'm using however you need to measure your tissue box because they're not always the same um, first I'm going to measure the top of the box and mine measures about four and a half. Well, it's about four and three eighths. I'm going to add an inch on either side uh, because there, there's a. This is for the cover, and there's an overhang. And so the same measurement on the other side. So basically, what I'm going to do is to make my cover square, six and a half by six and a half. And then I need to cut out the oval center. Now I'm going to show you how I used my Cricut Explore. Uh, you can always use um, a die, a regular die, if you have your, uh, this kind of an oval. I mean, the oval will be a little bit different shape. It doesn't really make a difference. You could actually trace the hole in your Kleenex box, in an old Kleenex box, and cut it with scissors. But I'm going to use my Cricut Explore for that and also for some decorations to go on the side. Now the other thing you need to do for the side pieces is to measure the side. And this tissue box, like the one with my protocol, is not this, a square. This side here is pretty much four and a half inches. This side here is just a tiny bit more than four and a quarter. You could really call it four and a quarter. So I have a four and a quarter, a four and a half, a four and a quarter, and a four and a half. And we have to do our pieces of paper for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take four and a quarter and four and a half, and that would make eight and three quarters. And then we're going to score an half an inch on each piece. So if I have, uh, it takes two pieces of cardstock. So if I have a piece that is eight and three quarters, four and a quarter, and four and a half, I'm adding a half an inch to it, which would make it nine and a quarter. So I'm going to cut my strips at nine and a quarter by five. And then we'll decorate from there. So what I'm going to do now is take you over to the Cricut, and I'll show you how I take you over to the computer, show you how I put it into the Cricut Design Space. Okay, everybody, we're at the Cricut Design Space. I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to insert a shape. I'm going to insert a square. And I'm going to change the size of that square to 6.5. All right. And I'm just going to leave that black for right now because I'm going to cut it out of a piece of brown. So um, that would be fine. Now I need to insert another shape. This one I'm going to insert is a circle. And But I'm going to sort of change the shape of the circle. I'm going to unlock it so I can change the shape of it. And I'm going to make it more of an oval. 
and I think about three inches at the top is good for me and maybe 1.75 for the side uh, I got it the wrong way around but that's not a big deal I'll just rotate it okay so now what I'm going to do and I will make that one um, white just so you can see what I'm doing okay I'm going to have to bring this forward oh it is forward and I'm going to place it in the middle of this somewhere that I think looks good okay but what I'm going to do is I'm going to align it I'm going to center it horizontally and I'm going to center it vertically so now I know I'm right in the middle of this sheet okay while I and then I'm going to highlight it again and I'm going to slice so now you can see that I have removed and we'll just get rid of these I have removed the circle and that will be the top my cover okay alright so now I'm, what I'm going to do is insert a shape another square this time I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to make it 4.25 no yes 4.25 wide okay and 5.0 5 inches tall this is the side of the box now I'm only doing that so that I can um, and I'll make it white so we can see what I'm doing so that I can measure the pieces that I'm going to put on I'm not going to cut it out and I will get rid of it a little bit later all right so now let's insert some images Sorry, I'm moving my keyboard. Squeaky, squeaky. Uh, up in the corner. Image, and I'm going to write corn. And this is what I'm looking for, like corn stalks. And this one is from Simply Scarecrows. So, whoops. I don't want that, sorry. I just want the corn but we've got it so here we are insert the image and I'm going to insert a couple of more images I'm going to insert a fence and the first one looks good to me this is from uh, the first few years a white picket fence it won't be white but that's just fine so we'll check that one off and then I think I'm going to look for pumpkin and what you can do is to go over here to the filter on the right and just put cricket access and then it'll only show you the ones that are cricket access okay and this little guy here looks cute all right so now I'm going to insert these images so we have the corn we have the pumpkins and we have the fence all I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure on this block for the size that I need now remember my box is four and a quarter and one side and four and a half and the other but I'm going to make them all fit the corner four and a quarter side because it won't be that much difference okay all right, so there's one, and that fits fine. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to duplicate it one, two, three times because there are four sides to the box. Let's just move these down here, and we'll go on to the cornstalk. Well, I think I'll leave one up so I can kind of see what the picture is going to look like. So we'll move the cornstalk, and let's put the cornstalk in the front. And I'm just going to make it a little bigger. Okay, that looks good. So I'll do the same thing. I'll duplicate it one, two, three times. I'll move these over here. And I'm going to move in my pumpkin. 
Now I want, I've got to put them in front. Okay, I want three pumpkins, so I'm going to make them one. And I'll duplicate them once, and I'll put that over here. So, I think I'm going to make this just a little, well, no, I'm not going to make it smaller. Okay, like this. And they'll be just a little bit back, and then I want one, I'm going to duplicate it again, and I want one that's a little smaller, and that one will fit in the middle, like this. And there you go. I think that'll look really cute on the box, so here's what I've done. Now I've got these four are copied, and you can either leave them as this, or you can flatten them and make it as a print and cut. And I've got four fences, and I've got four, three pumpkins. What I need is uh, two for each side, so I need eight of this size. So what I'm going to take here, I'm just get rid of this, It'll give me a little more room. I'm going to duplicate it one, two, well, no, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Let's go back. So you can always undo up here. Because I want to flatten this. It's going to print. And if I flatten it first, then all my duplications will be flattened. So let's flatten it. Now that's going to be, you see, it changed over here. Um, to a print. See the print icon. Okay. So now I'll do it and I'll duplicate them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll just use this one here and I'll flatten him. Eight. Okay, so there we have eight of that size. Now I need four of this size. So we'll flatten this little guy. And then we'll duplicate them four times, three times. Okay, now they're all going to print for me. It just makes it a little easier. So I'm just going to press go. We'll see what it looks like. And there's, you can see this is a print and cut. And it has all my pumpkins there. It's going to ask me to print. Then I have a sheet for the cover. I have a sheet for the fence. And I have two sheets for the corn. Well, another, oh, the fence. Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to go back to the fence. Okay. I want to change something on this. So let's get rid of this. I've got to get rid of these. I don't want the layers. I'm only going to use one layer. Okay, so now I'm going to write and ungroup. Whoops, get over here. Highlight it. Oh dear, <laughs> bad. Me bad, my bad. Okay, highlight it. There you go. Ungroup. Get rid of this. Now I'll put that here, and now I'll duplicate it three more times. Okay, now let's try go. It's going to just have to think a little bit now because I changed it. Okay, now if you see over here on the right, we've got the pumpkins, we've got the cover, we've got the two sections of the corn, and we have just one for the fence. So I'm going to take this and print it and cut it, and I'll meet you back at the counter, and we'll put it together. Okay, here we are back at the counter. I'm going to start with the um, cover. So we need to score the cover one inch all the way around because we made it two inches bigger. So we're going to score at one inch. At one inch. At one inch. And one inch. Okay, now I'm going to make some little tabs to make a cover. And so on the corner, these two lines intersect. I'm going to slice up to the line here. 
and I'm going to slice up to the line here, turn it around and do the same thing, just on the opposite side. Okay. Now, I don't know what I have done. Here it is. Sorry about that. my bone folder. So we're going to fold our score lines and you could have done this before you cut it or after. doesn't make any difference. Okay. Sorry if I'm going out of frame. Alright, so now we have our tabs, and the tabs are what we're going to use to close the corners like this. And I'm going to use my art glitter glue. Um, I would advise using something, this holds pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and use this. Uh, if you want to use score tape, that's a good choice too. We don't want it to fall apart, and yet it doesn't take a whole lot of um, trauma because it's just sitting on top of a box. But we want it to stay looking nice. Alright, to the other side. And if your sides don't quite match, I have one that does not want to match quite red. It's just the score line, probably. There's nothing to but just trim it off. There you go. So, here's hoping that this is going to fit nicely right down over the box. Okay, good. All right, so the next thing we want to do is to cut our sides. And remember the sides were going to be nine and a quarter. By five. pieces, nine and a quarter. our tabs that attach the two pieces together. So we'll score a half inch on here. And then remember I had a four and a quarter a four and a quarter inch side and a four and a half inch side. So I'm going to go over four and a quarter inches. So that's an, at one and a half, so one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half makes four and three quarters. Okay? And so four and three quarters Five and three quarters, six and three quarters, seven, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I have a half inch at the, at the end. So that would be that one. Do the same with this one. It's, it's a whole lot easier if you um, have a box. Oh, I didn't get that right. I have one, two, see I did it wrong, but it's going to be covered with a piece of paper so it doesn't make any difference. 
one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, four and three quarters. I made it four and a quarter. Okay. All right, we'll see how that works out. Now, it's easier to decorate this with the uh, paper still flat, so I'm going to start with my decorating. I have a piece of brown cardstock, and this was cut um, just a little shorter than this paper. It's a little more covering on this one than this one. Let me see. Wait a minute. I do have two sets. Sorry. I do have the other kind. There you go. And that one goes over there. They're about a quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch sh shorter than the um, background. So we'll get that one first. So this was four and a quarter by five. So I made that four and an eighth by four and seven eighths. And this was four and a half by five, so I made that four and three eighths by four and seven eighths. Okay, and we'll do the same for the other side. This is this one. It kind of reinforces that we have the scoring correct because these pieces fit where they're supposed to. That's always nice. Okay, now I have this barn board that goes on the top of it. And let's see how these fit. put on. And this was some designer paper that I got at um, hmm, Michael's when they had the single sheets on sale. Make all the holes at the same place on the bottom. This would be awfully cute. I, I've used the pumpkins, but you know, you can do any kind of decoration. You don't have to do cutout decorations. You can do it with ribbon, or you can just uh, do it with um, fall designer paper. Or how about some baskets of apples? That would be cute. I have another one all made, and I'll share it with you a little later, that is for a large box of, of Kleenex, but it's a Halloween theme, and it's just a little too early to put the Halloween items out quite yet. Okay, the next item is the fence, and there we go. And we'll just put a little bit of the glue along here.
they're not going to be next to each other, they're going to be bent, so it really doesn't make too much of a difference. And the last one. Okay, now we've got to put our corn on. Um, I already put a couple of them together because I didn't know how long it would take. To put them together. They weren't actually too bad. I was surprised. They went together faster than I thought they would. Uh, but I'll just put these two on. That looks cute. This little tip on this art glitter glue which is sold separately um, really comes in handy when you're working with things like this that are so small okay we'll set that aside and then here's these two here which I did not put together yet and basically the brown goes on top of the yellow Try not to get, there's two little ears of corn that stick out, so you don't really need to put glue on that. But if you do, you can just wipe it off. It's not a big deal. And they actually, because they're now on the camera, fumble fingers will come into play, but they actually go together quite nicely. Now there is a little teeny piece here that I have to use my pick-me-up for and it just goes right in here. I'm going to put a little dot of glue One more. And you can see why I put two of them together. We'd be here all day. Takes a little time, but it's really not difficult. You just, whoops, have to duplicate four times everything you're doing. So we just line it up down at the bottom. Line it up up here. When you're using the glue, it does give you just a little bit of wiggle room to kind of get these pieces in the right place. So, that's good. Okay, here we go. Now, we have the three pumpkins for each side. Aren't they cute? This, this is the print and cut. See, and it comes pr out, printed out with their little smiley face. And what I'm going to do is put these two bigger ones down. Just go with the other side while I got the glue in my hand. Okay, let me just get all of the big ones down then while I have them here. Because what I'm going to do with the little one is to pop it up. Mm 
I thought I had two. All right, so now with the little one, we're just going to take a little piece of foam tape. Pop it in the back. cute is that? really came out nice. All right. We're going to need three more pieces, so we'll just cut them now. Isn't that that really is cute? So we have one more step to do. We're going to put some glue on this tab, and we're going to take that tab <laughs> oh yes, okay. Wait a minute, I have to turn it around the other way. I'll be back in a second when I get it fixed. Sorry about that. This is a learning experience for everybody. You see what I did? I have the two pieces, but if I put them together the way they're supposed to, this is going to be like this. So what I've done is I've cut another piece of cardstock and measured it just the same as I had before. Now I'm going to put this one on it. You really could do this uh, and avoid this problem by putting the box together before... Um, you put the decorations on. I just was trying to make it easier by having it flat. And then you have a piece, another flap on this side. Let me just give that a little. And I won't keep you here while I do the other part. I'll explain what I'm going to do. And then when you see the picture at the end, you'll see it complete. Well, have at it, glue. Well, this is, there we go. We'll get that. We'll get this little sucker put together. There you go. Line them up. Now, what I'm going to do is very simple. I'm just going to trim right along this piece of card. Okay, and I will do it with both of them. And then I will just attach it to this side. And no one except you and I will ever know the difference. Okay? So then what happens is when it's finished, it will fit down over the box. Hopefully. And remember, it is two different sizes, so you have to fiddle to find the way it fits on the box the best. Okay? There you go. It's on the box. The cover goes on. And there you have a cute little tissue box cover that will sit on, I didn't get it pushed all the way down, that will sit on your counter and give a little fall to, you, to your decorations. Uh, other than our little screw up with the side, everything came out just fine. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you pictures of the whole thing put together correctly at the end. <laughs> see you later. Bye bye. Well instead of a picture I'll just show you the four sides. There we go. Have a great day, and see you next time.
Bye for now.